In this tutorial, we're going to discuss uh, what you need to do if you ever forget your username and password. Um, the, the information is actually stored in the DVR folder that's on your C drive. Um, it's, it's all created during the installation process. Uh, so if you go to start, then my computer and double click on local disk C you'll see a folder called DVR in all caps you want to go ahead and double click that to open it and inside amongst other files you'll see and let me open this up a little so you can see the type of file I'm gonna select it it's called DVR it's written in all lowercase letters and if you select the file and you look in the column on the left under details the type of file it's gonna say configuration settings and if you go ahead and just double click on that file it's gonna open open up the file in in notepad and if you scroll down you may not have to scroll it depends on how large this window is when it opens up but you'll see a heading in brackets. Uh, it'll 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 say password in all caps, and it will have administrator equals password underscore a equals, and that's where your username and password information are going to be. Uh, for instance, uh, in this situation here, for my for my particular DVR. Um, I change this information so keep in mind if you do alter the administrator account it's gonna keep this this here with nothing on the other side so it's gonna it's gonna look like the administrator is blank and password is blank for that particular account but if you change that information there's gonna be a user created called user zero this is actually the new admin so if you altered that information, if you altered the default information as it comes from us, and, and again, when when from us, the, the DVR software has a blank username and a blank password for the administrative account, I went in and I altered that information. I edited that account, and I made the username admin, and the password is the word password. And if you changed your information, it's going to show up here. It's going to say user zero equals and then password zero equals. And underneath that, it'll also have other users if you created other users. Uh, for instance, I have one here called user one equals employee, password one equals password. Uh, that's because I created uh, uh, an another user account uh, with limited privileges. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if if you forget your your username and password, you access it by going here, and and you just copy that information and go ahead and launch your DVR software, and enter that in, and you'll have access again.